hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are continuing our vb.net project main concept of this video is we are going to create a category and the products things okay so guys now let's get started so as simple we will create the picture box and given name for it so where i will take only three things so first what we have to do we need to create one folder inside our projects to keep the images so let's right click add and add new folder over here type images and this is your folder so guys now we want to store some images inside this so if you have installed you can see that let's go to windows e and then go to your document vb visual studio 12 where projects inside your projects fund our project so this is our project going on and inside this fund our project this is the fund our project okay so here you can see the name so let me just close this okay let's go inside this fund our project and you can find that images folder so this image folder which we have created over here right so let's go inside this and paste all the images which you required so i have already downloaded and set some images so let me just copy and paste all this image over here that's it refresh and now guys let's come to a project so guys now let's see the images is available or not inside this image folder so let's refresh once and let's right click on this and open that open in a file explorer you can see that the path is open and the images are present over here so let's close this and now guys let us start with the category thing so first let's go to toolbox and search for the label label and let's label this as the category let's go to its property and the label name which we want to give is category not category capital C and increase the font size 18 and now let's set all the categories what we require let's go to toolbox let's set picture picture box it's over here click and drag so first we are going to set three things so one will be mobile so now let's take a button so let's search for the button button and just click and drag let's make this button name as big over here and now for this we will increase the font size to 16 and this button name will be we are going to keep as mobile hit enter not mobile we will keep mobiles because we are going to select mobiles from here so now let's select the picture also for this choose image okay let's choose from the local resource import which is under funda projects only okay so let's select one mobile for the category purpose give okay and uh, make this as responsive you can tell stretch image let's click save so here is a save option save all so same way you are going to copy and paste for the three things also so let's control c and v again let's drag this at last again v so control v to paste that so guys now let's replace with the other things what are the images we are having you can see this is our project images one is mobile footwares and soft toys so let's make this as label where is the label name foot w e a r where let us replace with the image choose image import choose the footwear okay and then final one soft toys so let's make as soft toys and let's replace this image choose image import go over here okay done 
so let's save this guys so this will be our category view so let me just make a little over here and yep guys let's save and now guys when i click to mobiles so it mobile product should open so according to that we have to create so we are going to create all static things so on the main page you have created this and now let's create one mobile page for this so let's right click on the project and go to add windows form and over here you will get that windows form and from here you are going to add that mobile so i'm going to click on mobiles.vb add that so your page is created for the mobile done and the same way you have to create all the products list over here as per your requirement as per your category so next is footwear so let's create that footwear also add windows form and make that foot where dot vb the same so let's save and guys the final one this is the main page and now final is soft toys add windows form make sure you are not giving any spaces and all soft tyes or else you can add one hyphen also but i'm not going to add that because it gives some type of errors while coding that so let's give this soft toys add and that's it so now guys you need to connect all these pages so for example first we will label this all the things so what i'm going to do from the main page i'm going to copy this label and paste inside your products so this is mobile so let's go to mobiles form and paste over here and rename this right click go to its properties and let's rename this as mobiles product copy and as you can see this is footwear so let's go to footwear go to footwear.pb paste and again need to check with that foot wear product and then final one soft toys let's paste that and make it to soft toys soft toys product and now as same design what we have given over here the same format you can place for all the mobiles also like the product page design so let's add one the first which is was the mobile thing so let me just move with that control v select drag and paste so let's set up this guys and let's make this button name as by now from here b u y by now this button name will be by now so this is button 1 over here okay so let's make this as the button name which is over here will tell mobile one button okay so this is mobile one button done then same way you are going to copy and paste copy paste again paste then you need to rename all this button name again so which is button 2 right so over here you can see that the name for this button is button 2 so you can tell this mobile 2 btn button and the final the third button from here button 1 to you can make to mobile 3 button and change this images choose mobile 2 okay choose mobile 3 
so the same way you need to design for your this footwear also this footwear page and your soft toys page so guys let me just complete this and get back so guys i have designed this footwear product which is this three products and then soft toys also so which is over here so guys now the main concept we need to link each other so which is this category right so this if i click this mobile the mobile page should open footer foot i mean footwear page should open then soft toys soft right page should open so guys now double click on this button so let's double click and tell that me dot hide the next that is mobile mobiles dot show that's it so this mobiles is nothing but your form name over here as you can see that mobiles so let's same way you need to call all the pages let's go over here for footwear double click on this and copy the same code and paste and tell this instead of mobile you need to mention that footwear oops footwear are there save and then for the final soft toys double click copy and paste this is soft toys tab that's it save and now guys let's debug and check this let's click on start so first need to log in so let's log in with that gmail.com one two three four five six click on login you have successfully logged in then your main page opens so let's click on mobile you got this mobile page right so same way you need to go there so i want to go back to again category so where is that okay project only stopped so we don't require this me dot hide so let's remove this me dot hide from the page because we want to check that again right so let's save this so let's start and test with that gmail dot com one two three four five six click on login you have logged in successfully let's click on mobile here the mobile product so you can see when i click to buy that time all this product detail should go so before that we need to specify all this product details right so we will be learning in next video about how to show its price and all and fetch that into billing page so let's move on this footwear so you can see the footwear product let's close this and then soft toys for this also so guys this is how we make product and category things so now let's see next video about how to set this product soft toys or product name for it and fetch into billing page so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share